The BU men's basketball team wished everyone a happy new year by kicking off the 2017 calendar year, hosting the Lehigh Mountain Hawks on Monday afternoon. Coming off a double-double last game, Eric Fanning nearly had that in just 12 minutes of action, scoring seven points and six rebounds to get the Terriers up before committing his second foul. And the Terriers get the steal. Scanlon to Hankerson. Terriers will set up. Fanning posted. Misses the shot, but converts his own miss. There's your first offensive rebound of the game. Yes, Kempton is in on the rebound, but the Terriers get it back. Eric Johnson in the game for the first time. And Fanning blows to the goal. And this is eight unanswered points now for BU. And, and they lead eight to three. And two-time Patriot League Player of the Year, Tim Kempton kept Lehigh right in the game, scoring 12 of his 16 points in the first half. 13-15 to go in the first. Pace has picked up here at both ends the last couple of minutes. Kempton connects. That's his first field goal of the game. In the triangle or within that box right there for the Terriers and Alston almost looked like he didn't want the ball, was able to pass that off to Havner for an easy two. Kempton gets inside for two of his own. And that's where the Terriers have got to put contact, whether it's with another goal. However, a balanced attack and support of the BU bench, including Max Mahoney and Nick Havner, helped BU to a 38-29 lead at halftime. Keep it moving. Scanlon rims out the three. Mahoney with another offensive board, and he connects. Oh, the Terry, what a, again, just the effort. The extra pass first on the first possession. Let's Austin, the big fellow, will bring it up himself with two, with one. Price is blocked by Havner, and that will end the half. Talk about a defensive play to end it. Terriers make a big time stop. They take the ball out of the hands of Karan Ross and force someone else to do it. it in the second half, Lehigh turnovers led to points for the Terriers as BU built up a 23-point lead as Tyler Scanlon got hot from three-point range, hitting three in the second frame, finishing with 10 points. Terriers get it back. Oh, the ball fake, fake by Fanning. Yeah. And now the Terriers will set up no great hurry here with the big lead, even with 10 minutes to go. Terriers last field goal though came at the 13 minute mark. You remember the Holy Cross game, can they get one? There it is. Well done, Tyler Scanlon in time. Lehigh had one last run in them as Austin Price scored five straight points as part of a 17 to five run that brought Lehigh within nine points. They have zero together in this game. Well, that's what I mean. The Terriers have done a really good job of saying, all right, Tim Kempton, we're going to make you work, but you're going to be the star. Everyone else has just been kind of watching. And that's where even guys like Austin Price, who finally really gets his, uh, gets his second bucket in the game, uh, you know, it's you can see. However, the Terrier bench came up big again as Will Goff hit this three to separate the Terriers, who win it by the final of 75 to 61. Coming down to five and a half minutes to go. Terriers could use a bucket here. And Will Goff provides it right in front of the bench. Back here at the roof for a final time as the Terriers go to 2-0 in Patriot League play, knocking off Lehigh 75-61. Joined alongside associate head coach Sean Morris. And coach, certainly Lehigh came into this game winning 10 straight Patriot League uh, wins. Obviously, you know what they were capable of be happy with the overall victory yeah very good they're a very good team they got the best player in the league that can kind of dominate the game so uh, we came into it trying to be able to neutralize him and then also take away everybody else uh, to not let them get off as well um, and we did a really good job executing what we were trying to do offensively you've got to be happy with the production from the bench and just the spread out offense six players with six points or more pretty impressive yeah I th we got a team where we're gonna have to be a lot more balanced in terms of you're not gonna try to put it on one guy night in night out certain guys are gonna have their nights but we feel like that's one of our strengths is our guys collectively can all make plays for each other and they really did that tonight when you get into conference play teams know you and the identity of this team is trying to be more focused on defense you got to be happy with the performance they put up against one of the best offensive teams in conference. Yeah, this team, probably more than some of the others, we're going to win and it's going to be ugly at times. The ball, you're going to turn the ball over and hopefully we can force some turnovers. The ball is not going to look uh, the most pretty at times, but 
are, we're adjusting to that and we're able to capitalize on it for these first two games. Coach, as you know, it's a long season. It's all about growth. Now the Terriers have to do something they haven't done yet this year, win on the road. Yeah, if you're going to want to win this league, you're going to have to win games on the road and put yourself in a position to have where you want to be when it comes to March. And we have to start that way uh, right this week. Coach, Happy New Year. We'll see you in Annapolis. Thanks a lot, guys. Take that's, care. that's Associate Head Coach Sean Morris as the Terriers go to 2-0 and with a 75-61 to win. BU held Lehigh to just 34.9% from the field and had four scorers in double figures. All six wins for BU have been at home as they now head on the road for two games, starting with Navy on Thursday at 7 p.m. on the Terrier Sports Radio Network.